Correct food is vital for fitness and peak condition. Pedigree Chum. Top breeders recommend it. This is Thames from London. At 3.25, the Thames News. Now, the last in the present series of What's My Line? In fact, I've got four friends over here who'd like to say hi too. Starting with the squire of Notty Ash, Mr. Ken Dodd. <laughs> and Nottingham's naughtiest lady, Sue Pollard. <laughs> Wearing another little restrained number, I see. Taking a day off from her typewriter, Jilly Cooper. <laughs> and someone who's as nimble with his mind as he is with his feet, Garth Crooks. That's our panel. Let's now say hello to our first contestant. Will you sign in, please? <laughs> Welcome, Maureen. Will you give us your mind, please? a repeat performance there from Jilly, and while you take a seat we'll put up on your screens what it is that Maureen Bolton from Kent does for a living. <laughs> Maureen is self-employed and I can tell you, Ken, uh, we start with you. Ah, hello Maureen. Hello. Um, you weren't digging that tunnel though, were you? I don't know. <laughs> were you, were you, were you Operating a piece of machinery, or yes, so some kind of a machine. Yeah. Oh. Um, nothing to do with double glazing. No. No. Oh. Sue Pollard. Hello, Maureen. Hello. Um, I suppose I should ask the obvious. Do you provide a service? Yes. Um, can any age group have this service? Yes. Um, is it? Do you provide something to do that you can use in the home or out of the home? Oh, no, I've got to ask one. In the home? In the home? Well, not really. It's not actually in the home, is it? It might be. Yeah, it might it? be. Yeah. Yes, it might be. Yeah. Uh, oh, dear, and it was machinery as well. Um, so you provide something that... Well, it could be anything, really, couldn't it? I'm not really... Um, um, oh, dear, this is really hard. <laughs> Oh, you're no help. Stop laughing. It's not... They all look like clones of me. They've all got white hair and glasses. Uh, uh, mine's not white yet, but almost. Um, let me see. Now, do you have to train for this service? Yes, we do. You have to train, and it's something you can use in the house or something to do with the house. Um, do you often... Oh, hey. Getting nearer. Nothing to do with Wendy houses. That was just an aside. <laughs> right. No, that was just in the side. Oh dear. Um, is this is this service you provide? Uh, would it cost more than fifty pounds? No. Right. No. Jilly right, Cooper. Um, hi. Hello. Um, you you come to my house. I'm thinking aloud at the moment, Angela. Um, <laughs> if you, if you came to my house and did this service, would I be would, would I feel would the house look better because you've done it? No. It wouldn't. No. no. And also, would you go to her house to do no. this? No. Do you think you would? No. no. Sorry about that. Oh, look at oh, that. Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, Garth Crooks. Well, <coughs> Maureen, you actually said that it's, it's not exactly in the home. Yeah. Would it be then something that I need, I could use outside the home, but would be attached to the home? Yeah. Yeah. Could, be. could be, yeah. It's not, um, would I be right in saying it's not expensive to buy? It could be. It could be expensive to buy. 
So you're not right. No. Oh, but it, <laughs> but it might not be expensive to buy. No, you gave me the double negative, so it's not right. Ken, no, you can't. A bit long in the tooth for that old trick. Ken Dodd. Really, that good. Is there an end product to your work? Uh, yes, there is. Work? Uh -huh. uh, do you personally, I mean, you look very lovely now, and I love this, uh, I love the top. I think yes. your bottom's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> do you have to wear any... Uh, special clothing when you're doing it? No. No, she doesn't. Sue Pollard. Now, if it's, we've established that it's an end product and it's not in the house, but it's something to do with the house. Um, no, we said it on the could way, be. Oh, it could be. Yes, it right. could be on the way to the house. Door. Come here, Moriarty. <laughs> a door, a door. A door. Oh, a door. A door. I adore. Um, oh, just a minute. Okay. No, it's something to do with a door, and you make this, and it's an end product. Ah, ah, yes. You put it in something. <laughs> yes. You put it in something. Yes. Oh dear. I'm sorry, madam. I think it's to do with the. Is it a? Eh? Do you think so? Shall I go for that? Something to do with a lock. <laughs> So that's it then, so it's something to do with the lock and it's on a door and it's done by a girl. Well, it's ridiculous, it could be anything. Oh, could be something Make a bolt for it. Yeah, oh, I think I will. <laughs> and it doesn't cost much. It oh, it's something to do with keys, is it? <laughs> is it? Wait a minute. Lock, key, door. <laughs> Yeah, did it trial and error? I've got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're running out of time, so no, I mean, I'm running out of time. Yes. Oh, I don't know. Do, do you make keys or something then? Lots, anything. Yeah. Oh. She does. She d she's a key cutter, in oh. fact, so oh, she so does make them. Would you, Maureen, like to show us some of the keys? Oh, in, well because done. you have a range of how many different keys that you can make? Well, we can make. Thousands of keys, really. I mean, These are sort of fairly commonplace things, aren't they? But you yeah. actually, why it can be expensive? Because you actually do those whopping we, great things. Yes, don't we you? do the ones like you have in churches where you have to make them by hand, and then they do cost a lot of money. That's why you cost up to £50 for a key. And people very often try and bring, actually, not just a spare key, but the whole lock, the, the yes, door, they, or even they, the furniture, yes, don't they? Yes, they bring the door or the whole steering wheels and everything to us. <laughs> so they can try and make a key to fit. Yeah. Well, you didn't beat our panel, oh, Maureen, right. but thank you very okay. much for being right. on the program. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Pollard is on form, obviously. It's yeah. uh, amazing to watch when she's in action, isn't it? Let's see what she does with our next contestant, not just her, but the rest of the panel too. So will you sign in, please? <laughs> Laura, welcome. Will you give us your mind, please? Take a seat, Nora, and we will put up on the screen for those of you who would like to play the game at home what it is that Nora Priest from Dartmouth does for a living. Okay, it's off your screens. Nora, the first question is going to come to you from Sue Pollard. I can tell you, Sue, that Nora is salaried. Oh, um, hello, Nora. It's hello. nice to see you. I thought you were the first aid lady, didn't I, in the corridor, but you're not at all. Um, now, you're doing something like this. It looked to me like it was some sort of a... You're opening a book or, or referring to something and going like that. No. Oh. No, no she no, wasn't no. doing that in her mind at all. Oh, Sue Pond. Uh, no, sorry, Jilly Cooper. Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, is there an end product? No. No, no there isn't. Oh. Garth? No, I have to say that... Um, uh, your mind give me no indication to what you're doing. <laughs> That's the first thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's typically absurd, but I'm going to ask anyway. Um, does your work involve, um, is it uh, some kind of fitness? No. Nope. No, it is fitness. No. Ken Dodd. Would I find you in the yellow pages? No. Nope. Sue Pollard? Do you work with a... Do you work with a lot of people? 
No, by myself. Oh. Jelly Cooper. Oh, we are whizzing around. This is awful. <laughs> um, is your job, is it a specialist? A sort of special, I mean, do you need special training to do it? No, not really. Mm. No. Gosh, <laughs> anyone that came around quickly. <laughs> anyone can do this job. Right. Um, do you work with children? No. No. Ken Dodd? Um... <laughs> You would either work indoors or outdoors. Both, actually. <laughs> Do you have to wear any special uh, uniform? No. No, she doesn't. I don't That's eight it. gone. Sue Pollard. <gasps> oh. This is terrible. Oh, they. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't. Just what? Oh, tell me, tell me. Uh, does, um, Nora, does, uh, does the plaintiff or defendant, uh, does money change hands, uh, Nora? Yes. Money changes hands. She's not from the VAT. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, don't, no, it's not funny, because don't mind, we're laughing, dear. I mean, I'm obvious, I don't know. Oh, this is dreadful, Nora. Uh, money changes hands. <laughs> I reckon really, she's something to do with the flipping masons, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and you work, you work indoors or out. And ah, oh, do, do you accept money for for, for, for this from people? Yes. You accept money. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to start putting the chasers on you. Do you work every day of the week at this particular uh, job? No, not at this particular job. One to go, Jilly Cooper. An attendant, are you not, you're not the sort of a, a cinema person who takes the money at the cinema? No. No, she's not. <laughs> Nora Priest is a market stall superintendent at the market in Dartmouth. You've beaten the panel. I'll put them out of their misery. Oh, what were you doing in your mind? <laughs> Tell them quickly what you were doing in your mind. <laughs> I was measuring the amount of space that the storeholders had. Oh. Took out the tape measure to measure how much space they were taking up and then collecting their rent. Do you, do and you if you're ever in Dartmouth, do you, you must go and see her because it's an absolutely marvellous. It's an absolutely marvellous uh, market, so you should go and see her in Dartmouth. We have to take a commercial break there. We'll be back to see our mystery yeah. celebrity for today, so I hope you'll come and join us. See you in a moment. <laughs> What's this effort called? Ma'am, that's not art, that's washing. You've got more chance of shifting one of those paintings than getting shot of that, that... Lentil casserole. Hasn't aerial liquid reached suburbia yet, then? Oh, will she wash your liquid on that stain? Ah, huh, but you can <laughs> scrunch this liquid in, so it starts working straight away. Something working in this place. And then you just stick your aerialette in a cool wash. Typical student, always demonstrating. So the liquid works right in the heart of the wash. There. Even Van Gogh never got his colours that bright. He never had lentil casserole. Aerial liquid, clean to the heart of the wash. It's brilliant. Pity there's nowhere to hang it. Vax, Britain's best-selling vacuum cleaner, washes, washes, washes. Yeah, I reckon I can do something with that. New Ron Seal All-in-One. The simple way to colour and protect your wood. masks on. We haven't actually got one on the tickling stick, but Do Ken Dodd has got one on, so, uh, and has have all the, the panel, so hopefully they won't be able to see who our celebrity is, but we will, as we ask that person to sign in, please. Celebrity, make yourself comfortable. Your first question comes from Jilly Cooper. Oh, lovely applause. Um, you must be in show business. Ah, uh, yes. Garth. Um, not only in show business. Uh, something that's quite current. That's um, <laughs> quite current. 
Uh, I suppose you could say that, yes. Ken Dodd. Are you, uh, are you a stage, are you, are you, are you, are you living on the stage? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Sue Pollard. Do you know, I'm so, I, t I can, there's a slight detection there in the, uh, the timber, the timbre of the voice order. Uh, no, um, yes. Am I right in saying that you are in a current success that could be other, uh, somewhere else other than the TV? Yes. Your voice has gone off. <laughs> <laughs> Jilly Cooper? Um, when you were on television, were you um, a, a funny man, uh, basically? Yes. <laughs> Garth Crooks? It's an incredible voice, the notes change. Is, it, is, is your voice perhaps one of the features of your character? <laughs> I suppose so, yes. <laughs> Ken Dodd. Do you play a very old gentleman who's past it and ugly and all <laughs> sort of <laughs> No! Are you British? <laughs> yes. Sue Pollard. No, I, I honestly think that um, <clears throat> this is something to do, um, I think, with the war. Which war? The yeah. last war that's oh, just gone. the last gone. one, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Well, he's very yes. old. He yes, it's, very it's old. possible. Yes. Are you going to put a name to our celebrity? Oh dear. I've, I've got, I've got, to, I've really got a feeling it's Gordon. Gordon K. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I knew she would know. Yes. Hello, yes. Ken. The voice, of course, being the very difficult oh. thing to obscure because not so much your voice, mm. but Rene's yes. voice. Yes, I should have yeah. Is just so. Interview, broadcast interview. Yes, I did. You interviewed me. Ago. Yes, a long time when? ago for hospital broadcast. Back hospital in 1964, broadcast. it was. A long in Liverpool. Time. Oh, oh yes. yes. But having enormous success now with Allo Allo on the telly and on stage yes. at the Palladium. Yes. Gordon, where, you don't actually speak French, really, do you? Not really. No. So no. where does this amazing accent come from? <laughs> Comes from Huddersfield, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Like yes, yes. yes. You, just, you just drop the H's, you know, oh, and, and no. it suddenly comes out like that. I mean, <laughs> <it's>, uh, <laughs> okay. But apart from the success on telly, which is absolutely mega, not just here but mm. all around the world, mm. you're, you are enjoying being on the stage with the show. Oh as well, yes, it's you? wonderful. I mean, you, you get. We've just been extended uh, till the end of May, till the last Saturday in May. And the seats are going very quickly, so. Um, <laughs> um, but but uh, some nights you feel a bit tired, you know, during the day, or you feel a bit lousy. But you go down, walk down those stairs, and 2,300 people all start laughing and cheering, and it bucks you up. It goes like a rocket. It's it's marvellous. I love working, and uh, I love working. And, and like Ken, I'm sure a, a live audience. You can't beat it. You know. I mean, here today, you yes. know, you've got real life people tittering and chuckling, and, <laughs> and you don't have to use a tickling stick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were like Robocop. <laughs> <laughs> it's an oil painting, yeah. <laughs> not a bit of it, not a bit of it. Do you feel that it's going to be slightly difficult to get away from your character of René now if you want to do other things in the theatre? I, I don't know. I, I, I've got a play lined up for the autumn, which is a two-hander called Elsie and Norm's Macbeth, which is a wonderfully funny piece with a lady called Madge Hindle, who used to be in Coronation Street. Uh, Angela, mm -hmm. uh, as indeed as I for some time, and uh, she played a character. No, she played a character called Rennie, Rennie, Rennie uh, Roberts, uh, the lady. So it's Rennie and or Rennie and Rennie, and if Rennie. you like. You know, yes. so there's the two of us doing that. But that starts in the autumn. Oh, that will be marvellous. So somebody else obviously thinks I can do. Well, lots of people think that you're an extremely mm. fine actor because you have such a tremendous and varied career behind you. But it's mm. a pleasure to have you on the show. It's great fun to be here. Thank Go you and very much. say hi to the Thank panel. You. Thanks, Thanks very much indeed. Bye. As Rene might say, you may wonder what I am doing here. It is that I'm about to say, well, our next contestant, sign in, please. <laughs> and you're welcome. Give us your mind, please. Thank you, Andrew. 
Come and take a seat. And we will put up on the screens what it is that Andrew Sato from London does for a living. Andrew is salaried, and Garth, we start with you. Hello, Andrew. Hello, sir. Um, I must say, uh, very, very, very well turned out. Very smart. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I thought that. Sue's <laughs> eyes just actually <laughs> came out of her head. Down, <laughs> down. <laughs> um, you're salaried. Um, well, I shall not take any notice of that. Hmm. Uh, does your work, is your work quite uh, an intricate job? It um, would require uh, a high level of intelligence. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Ken Dodd. I would be correct in saying that you're not a stoker. <laughs> <laughs> not big enough. <laughs> Do you, do you sell something? Yes. <clears throat> Obviously, a salesman, they say, a good first thing a salesman, you always put all your good stuff in front of the window. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Very nice. I mean, whatever it is you're buying, selling, is, is, can, can ladies and gentlemen enjoy whatever it is you sell? Yes. I wanted to clear that because I said, well, I wouldn't mind buying whatever it is, but <laughs> <laughs> it might be a corset salesman. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, mind you, ladies and gentlemen, do wear corsets, don't they? Um, can you, uh, can, can, what you sell, is it, it can it be consumed? <laughs> yes. Thing, the article or the articles that you sell, are they uh, it? Is it in a container of some sort? I mean, yes. Is it sold in a cardboard box? Yes. <laughs> mutter, mutter, mutter. Mm. What you sell is in a cardboard box, but it's in something else besides a cardboard box. Yes. So it could be uh, it could be in another container <laughs> within the cardboard box. <clears throat> Something ladies and gentlemen enjoy. It's if it's obviously in a carton, but it's in, in some yeah. other containers. So it could be uh, could be no pineapple chunks of it. I look. I look. <laughs> I look. No. Well, I look. Can I get that one in? Yes. Sue Pollard, and I'm going to start putting the chasers on. Yes, you. come on, then. Sue. Well, I think you were doing this sort of thing, and you're a salesperson. You were twisting the end here, and it looked to me as if you could be, you could have been. Jack. No, we could have been twisting um, the lid. Uh, the, 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 like some sort of um, uh, thing, a stopper, know. like a stopper. Yes. In my case, it must be a bottle. I would have said it's uh, uh, yes, yes. No, and we can all avail ourselves of this service. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's some sort of sauce, isn't it? No. <laughs> hey, slang term of sauce. Sauce. <laughs> When she says sauce, it's what she drinks as sauce. sauce. Right. Yeah, You've got 15 seconds. Some, some sort of, um, some sort of, uh, alcoholic drink. Yes. Yeah. 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 No. Brandy. Um, and is it a posh drink? Brandy. 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 Well, we, we've all decided, we've had a confer. Champagne. Yes. Yeah. Ah. Well done. Andrew, in fact, does sell champagne, and I mean, Andrew, whenever we see champagne publicly, it's usually in the hands of a racing driver who goes wallet, wallet, pew, but it yes. must pain you to see them do that, because that's not the way to open a champagne no, bottle, that, is it? No, my mind was the correct way to open a bottle of champagne, because you hold the cork and turn the bottle, so you had it absolutely right, because she's, she's had so much practice. Exactly, yeah. she drank so much of this stuff, but we have to say there is another way that French cavalry officers used to open that a bottle of true. champagne. That is true, that is true. Which is rather spectacular, which you're going to demonstrate for us. Well, I think they deserve a glass of champagne. They do, don't they? Don't they? Oh. Yes, they deserve a glass of champagne. Sorry. <laughs> oh, hey. This and is the alternative way not to be practised in the kitchen.
extravagant. Well, perhaps I should say that as this is the last programme in the present series of What's My Line, we thought we should really go out with a bang, and what better way than to celebrate with a glass of champagne. So... I think the panel deserve it. They do, panel, don't they? Right. Absolutely. After what they've been through. Absolutely. So, from me and from everybody on What's My Line, and of course from our panel, thank you very much for being with us, and we hope we'll see you soon when we come back with another series of What's My Line. Cheers. <laughs> Yes, that was the last in the present series of What's My Line. Starting next week, each Tuesday to Friday, Fred Dynage is your host for a new show, Tell the Truth.